Do you want to sleep? Do you want to sleep on him? Big time! He's got many boobs. Let's do a Q&A song. Let's make a Q&A song. I said it's Q&A, Q&A. Sweeney's an A, Lucy's an A. It's Q&A, Q&A, Q&A. Q&A. Hi guys, this is our little cheeky midweek Q&A, just before we go out for dinner, as always we do it when we're starving, because that's what we do, yeah. broccoli. No! I'm hungry. <laughs> Eat your broccoli. Okay. But not this one. Not this one. We said we were going to do 10 questions, bad. however, 10 questions seem to take, like, so freaking long. Oh god, why yeah. do I do this? Yeah, it is. We said we were going to do 10 questions, however, they t that just those extra two seem to take so much longer, so here's eight fabulous ones we found. They're pretty cool. First question, this one's from Bestie Forever. She just wanted you to say that you're her bestie forever. Yeah, my bestie forever and it ever worked. and ever and ever. I love you. <laughs> What's your most embarrassing tour moment? Sweeney, you can go first. <laughs> I had one just a couple weeks ago in the middle of the in. And um, yeah, I, we were packing up our speaker stands and they had this like big bridge going over the canteen. You threw a sandwich. And um, I threw a sandwich originally. That fell down there. And then when we were packing our stuff up and leaving, I dropped a speaker stand down there and I nearly like killed a canteen. Where... Firstly, she nearly slapped someone in the face with a hot baguette. <laughs> And then so, that's just. It was that's tepid. Good. That's it good. was tepid. Okay, okay. It was lukewarm baguette. So lukewarm baguette. And it would, it was very juicy, so it'd be a real it's mess. It's like, hey guys, look what I've got. <laughs> Check out my baguettes. Oh, oh my god. It it's so embarrassing. And then the, the night before, he knocked something. He, you know, he was just doing the cinema thing. Ooh, darlings. And what happened was he knocked. He knocked. You're like a really. We were a you're pizza a really. Pizza you're a really hut. silly child, aren't you? Yeah. You're a no. Silly. Yeah, good boy. But we never filmed it. He went, yeah, he went in a pizza and then he put something, he's trying to be practical, he put this plate to the side, up out of the way, to try and keep some space. And then what does he do? He kind of leans Finish into my the food. thing. Ah. And he knocks it on the floor. And I've, honestly, I wish I'd filmed it. Sweet, can we reenact the face? I'll do some like, kind <laughs> <Okay>. of music. <laughs> I've never seen him go such strange. He's a very pale human being. I can so go red, but I want it. Yeah. <laughs> With lots of colours, lots of colours. What was your most embarrassing tour moment? I don't Just being alive. I don't think I've She is so angry. She's such a, an angry driver. <laughs> I'm not angry. She shouts. She, you, she, you shout at everyone. So many swear words. So many swear words. People what? should learn to drive them. What was my most embarrassing tour moment? The kettle incident. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Guys, basically in Cardiff, I put the kettle out of the way because it's because the hotels we were staying. Oh, the two plugs, plugs are room. awful. So I had to put this full kettle on the floor while we were making some things, and then I went to unplug my phone, which should have been by the bed. Travel lodge, put things by the bed, plugs, and then I ended up like knocking it over without realizing because it got the wires got caught, and then I was just like, "What's this hot sensation up my leg?" Thinking I peed myself. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> And and my plug. foot was on fire, and you know that situation where you get like the hot sock gluing to your foot. And I, I sat for an entire evening with my foot in a cold sink every time I took I'm it out. What was and even what was so funny about it is that I thought you stood on a plug. So he's riding around the floor, like, throwing a sock. I'm going, ah, like, he was, like screaming. Sweet, away. Was I'm just going me. there, going, yeah, it's horrible when you stand on a plug, isn't it? <laughs> it's called a bit pussy. I was burning my foot. I almost lost a foot in Nam. We took you to the hospital. <laughs> no, you weren't there, man. Nice, and then the ambulance nearly killed us. And Lucy almost crashed into an ambulance. He nearly crashed into me. No. Poppy. Epic Poppy's asked a question just for me, and I feel like I'm gonna ruin relationships today. Epic Poppy, I hope you realise they're gonna like poo on my face while I sleep now. Whoever I give this to. Right, so stop. It's not the time yet. Who would you rather spend a week alone with, Lucy or Sweeney? Sweeney is so lean, by the way. <laughs> he, he can't no, actually lean. put on weight, like, so his body is just just pure, like a coiled spring. It's <laughs> these it's guns, to go. these guns would blind you. Sweeney is so intellectually intelligent, like he's really <laughs> like really fun to have conversations with, but at the same time he lacks a lot of common sense. He's also huh? the most like I like the fact that Lucy sometimes gets angry, but that's natural to get angry, isn't it? That's natural. Sweeney, it doesn't matter how doesn't terrible a human being is, he can't be angry with them. Someone no. could come and just do this. 
<laughs> and then he would be so happy with them. He'd probably cook them a meal. We'd cook them a meal. This is bad on yourself being angry. Hands down, I would combine them. They would be leany. They would be my ultimate fabulous leany. Are you saying we're not good I, enough as I, we are? No, yeah. you're not. You're not. You know, I combine we need to Lucy and Sweetie. They would be leany and they'd be very intellectual and they would be very, very angry. <laughs> it would be very fun loving. The combination of the two Stupid. is in incredible. Stupid. Epic Poppy, I'm saying that to not get poo on my face. Really, I'd much rather spend time with Sweeney. It's because I'm a girl. Girls are sweet. Girls have cooties. Girls have cooties. Yeah. So Yazzie Bear asked if you had to eat one one vegetable. I said, if you had to eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? What was he? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't again. I'm not going to lie. We're, we're across the board. Mm -hmm. Probably Mexican. Mine would be a, a burrito or a chimichanga. I'd go burrito. Burrito, we're gonna go burrito. Like meal board, Lucy, what would you have? I prefer. Men's souls. I don't like feet. No! <laughs> Is that the little deep fried ones? Yeah, I like them. Keris May, Keris, you're, we just can't not put yours in. because Keris that's so good. Bay. Keris May. Keris Bay Bay May asks, and I quote, 1D no. or 5 sauce. Right, I'm going to say it. One, one Direction. Day. One D. One D. I'm going to go 1D. Right, Sweeney, give us your best impression of Amnesia. I see they do. I'm so sorry because I know that I'm going to have all the five sauce. No, 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 no. We, we don't, it's not that we don't lo like five sauce, we like some of their music. I just don't like when people put on an American accent and they've got, they're Australian. Some of their songs are really good. I just like the difference of One Direction stuff, to be honest. Mm -hmm. It's going to be completely honest. <laughs> Nile for life. Oh, Niles my bae. I'll fight you for him. <laughs> Die with mine, fight to the death. Guys, if you want to know who writes the songs that you like, you know, just go on Google, type in the song, and then go on the Wikipedia. Nine times out of ten, it will tell you who writes the songs. You We're not trying to get any hate between anything. I like a lot of bands that don't write their music. Some people are great singers and can't write. It's just, just life. Yeah, they, they just sing. have the face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with pe pizza addictions. Pizza, oh. Dude, it's hungry too often. Yeah. Yeah. So Lottie May Love asks, What's your favourite part of Christmas? Well, I'm like so stupidly addicted to Christmas. Uh, I get so much Lego at Christmas, don't I? Play my Xbox like Halo this year. Oh God, Halo, Halo. Five. It's like Look, I love seeing my family at Christmas. They all get together. I love eating copious amounts of food. Like we get so much Christmas food. Chocolate, throw it down my face. Oh, Thirteen people round a table. You know, rub Drinking it. Drinking all day. Melt it in the bath. Rub it on my body. Are we still <laughs> talking about Christmas? Right? I'm not having to work. We get a day off on Christmas. And one day off. One a uh, one day off. A one, one day, day off. off. I am Niall. Who are you? I'm gonna go Louis because he's I thought you were gonna say Zane. Oh, no, he played for Celtic. Oh, get your One Direction mustache on and go. Now fight me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I've ever watched. I don't understand where these things come from. This one's from Georgia Ball. One, two, three, four. I ah, love that. <laughs> What's the furthest you've travelled? And we're assuming this means on this tour, we have literally been from Devon in one day all the way up to Ullapool. Now, if you do that on Google Maps, yeah. that is the bottom of the country, oh. straight the way up to the top mm -hmm. of the country like it is as far north in Scotland as you can go it's not like John it's not like John O'Gorp yeah it was just over the other end but it's pretty far north it was about 11 and a half hours of driving and at the same time there was a lot of traffic at the same time <laughs> it's horrible we had to stop a few times to, to get nectar of life which is our coffee so it was just a ridiculous day we've we've literally filmed that day in we the filmed arrival it for you. we filmed it for you I filmed it for you no she didn't she didn't I filmed it all I did a day in the it was beautiful though, it was so good. It was, it was worth the drive because mm -hmm. you are Lapulians and you Invernessians and you... You've been down, you've done a little bit to Elgin. Oh, and you, Elgin, you Elgins and you Dundies, which is where we ended the week. They were coming to see us in December. Yeah, we yeah. yeah. Beth for who's ours, so I love this one. Why are you not a comedian? Because um, only 11 year olds find you funny. Oh! <laughs> Shots oh! fired! Shots fired! Oh! That was actually quite, that was actually quite hurtful. No, 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 come back, come back. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Um, it's okay, it's fine. We're no, genuinely, it's probably because uh, I laugh at my own jokes more than other people do. Do you know what? I just enjoy comedy. I just enjoy being fun. I enjoy my life. I don't really. I don't really see it like a lot of people say they just enjoy music, they don't want to see it as a career. Like, 
I just enjoy it and like if I make people laugh and all, all the time just by you know having a face like this then Oh don't sell yourself that short mate. Oh. <laughs> Next career path looking like a foot. But um This last question is from pretty much everyone. Mm. Drives us all mental. <laughs> this last question is Can you give us a shout out? Oh, oh, no. No. Can you follow me? Can, where's he going? Guys, being a musician is really, really difficult. It's so difficult to kind of follow everyone, give everyone a shout out. It looks really bad if you have like 30,000 followers and you follow like 60,000 people. We do competitions and everything for this. You know, where, where did you go? <laughs> it says no. Like, we want to follow you all, that's why we spend so much time replying to you all in the evenings and stuff. Genuinely can't follow everyone. These competitions... We do genuinely make the effort we to do genuinely make get the back effort. to everyone And the people that we do interact. follow, like, appreciate it so much more. And they get a lot of followers. If genuinely. we gave everyone a shout out asked as well, it would just, we wouldn't be able to respond Our entire properly. Instagram, your, your entire just Instagram would just be like people's other pages. We like, we like to think that everything we do, you guys enjoy, like, otherwise you wouldn't keep coming back. And if, if, if our channels became a constant promotional channel, that's all there are. There's channels you guys out there. Enjoy it. No, yeah. it wouldn't be as good. It wouldn't be. It wouldn't be have the same thing. You would like to go on a video every week where it's 20 shout outs and because we do really enjoy to interact and get back with everyone. But if we just shout out to everyone, we wouldn't be able to do that. Thank you for everyone who's got tickets because they've flown these past few weeks. Mm -hmm. Like the VIPs for Glasgow and now Bristol have completely sold out. We oh. cannot add any more. It's nope. crazy. We even stuck just an under two months now. We did stick on a few extras in those areas. Um, Newcastle is so close, mm -hmm. so close. London's so close. London's, London's very special. close, and we're in that area this week, so they're going even faster. And Nottingham. and Nottingham, get your tickets. Just generally because we want to meet you all. Supports the release of the album. Supports us, love. We can party right everybody. We're going to do this dance to finish with. Just I make a run for the border. I'm gonna the only tacos, tacos can stop. <laughs> I'll tell you just what to order. Three tacos and a candy and a soda. <laughs> Richcatelltickets.com. RichCatelTickets.com Don't know quite where it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be. I'm gonna run 